Welcome to today's video, where we'll explore the cost of quality in Six Sigma, an essential concept for improving business efficiency. The cost of quality, often abbreviated as COQ, refers to the cumulative costs incurred to prevent poor quality and the costs of correcting defects. It is categorized into four main components, prevention costs, appraisal costs, internal failure costs, and external failure costs. Firstly, Prevention costs are what you invest to prevent defects from occurring in the first place. These proactive measures, like training, quality planning, and process improvement, help ensure your products or services meet the desired quality standards. The idea is that spending money here saves you from much higher expenses later on. Next, appraisal costs are associated with evaluating or inspecting products or services to ensure they adhere to quality standards. This includes activities like testing, inspections, audits, and quality assessments. While these activities don't directly improve quality, they help identify defects before they reach the customer. Moving on to internal failure costs, which are the costs of defects caught before the product reaches the customer. These expenditures relate to scrap, rework, and any waste generated from correcting defects within the company. Reducing internal failures is a crucial area to address, as it can significantly boost efficiency and reduce extra expenses. Lastly, external failure costs occur when a defect is identified after the product has reached the customer. These costs can include returns, repairs, warranties, and potentially damage your brand's reputation. They are particularly undesirable because they incur financial expenses and can also erode customer trust and loyalty. By understanding and managing each component of the cost of quality, companies can achieve a balance that minimizes total costs and maximizes customer satisfaction. Implementing Six Sigma methodologies allows businesses to identify, analyze, and improve process efficiency, reducing failure rates and improving quality outcomes. This is the end of this video. I am Kevin from Infinilene. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into Six Sigma and quality management. Our YouTube channel is expanding with valuable Lean Six Sigma content. Be sure to check out our other videos as well. Exciting new content is on its way. Stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.